Anything you're interested in, international relations and communication between governments, it's what lets it happen. One of the things we do in our program is we show up to these discussions and learn from them, make our own opinions. Tonight's event was one of many that we hold when we bring in leading writers, scholars, practitioners, and policymakers to talk to not only our students, but to our alumni and to other people here in New York City who want to engage ideas, who want to understand what's really happening in the world now, and not only understand it in a theoretical or scholarly way, but to understand what can we do about it? What next steps can we take to address these challenges? It's part of our course actually to, to study about New York City as a global actor. And I was intrigued to see how much it is part of our political reality today in the world, even in the Middle East, for example. It's one thing to say, I know you're an expert and I want to hear your explanation and I need you to convince me or you know, to tell me. It's another thing entirely to have someone who you know, up until three months earlier had never really thought about Russia turn to you and say, no, no, I'm going to explain Russia to you. Let me, let me kind of make this clear. I think it's such a great opportunity to learn from people who've made, you know, whatever they're talking about, their life's work. And at these speaker events, you get to do that. You have a generational mix. You have a mix of ideas and thoughts. You have a dialogue. You have all the things which we think we ought to have in the world. Who knew healthcare could be so complicated? The world is complicated. I heard about BGIA through my college. That was kind of what made me want to study abroad in New York City for the summer because I really wanted to apply what I was learning in the classroom to more tangible work. But we see a lot in, like, especially here in the US campuses where... What I've always tried to do in engaging the, the core challenges of our time in the international arena is to find ways to move beyond the obvious, bringing the knowledge from the classroom and the library to the front lines of where things are happening, where problems are developing, and where problems need to be solved. The former editor of World Policy Journal. The great thing BGA has got going for it, I think, is that there are three elements. One, the coursework is challenging. I know because I teach some of it. The internships are also challenging. Fitting those two things together the concept and the actuality, which is what the BJA students do every day, is a serious challenge that you don't get on a normal campus. And the third part is New York City itself, because New York is that added element that makes this different. New York City is the epitome of international relations.